hello students in previous video we have seen how to generate points on a circle either it is centered at origin or either center is somewhere else we have seen those one with example now in this video let's see generation of ellipse or the generation of points on ellipse generation of an ellipse how to generate points on ellipse whatever number of points are asked to us now let's write algorithm algorithm to generate algorithm to generate uniformly spaced uniformly spaced n points uniformly spaced n points on ellipse on ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 now here we need its parametric equation so let me write the parametric equations An ellipse are the parametric equations of an ellipse are x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta now what is step 1 here of an algorithm step 1 says given equation of ellipse is let's write that first given equation of ellipse is what is that it will be x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 then number of points we have to find number of points to generate number of points to what generate or how much n points right now step 2 we will find delta theta point just like a circle here also we have to find delta theta that is 2 pi by n 2 pi by n now step 3 Again, just like a circle, here also we will find first point. First point that is what P1. Its coordinates are x1, y1. You know, here theta is what? 0. And we put that value of theta as a 0 in what parametric equation. So, here I can say it is a cos theta b sin theta as it is the first point so where theta is what 0 degree so using that what does it it will be a cos of 0 degree b sin of 0 degree and that is nothing but a 0 because cos 0 is 1 so it is a and tan 0 0 so it will become 0 fine now step 4 so from that we get an iterative formula to determine other points while we get P, P1. So, just like a circle, here will, I will write the iterative formula. Now, here I will write this formula directly because I had found this, those one that xi plus 1 and yi plus 1. You know how to determine them using an algorithm of a circle and before that we have taken the iterative formula how to find out it so iterative formula iterative formula for i from what 1 to n minus 1 we have to determine n points already first point we had determined so i will go from 1 so p2 p3 so on up to pn we will determine so here the formula is pi plus 1 equal to what 
xi plus 1 yi plus 1 and that will be here xi yi into the matrix what does the matrix here xi yi here cos of delta theta here b by a sin of delta theta here minus a by b minus a by b sin of delta theta here cos of delta theta this one now step 5 represent represent the point represent the point by position vector matrix position vector matrix say x will name it as x so here let me revise those steps again we have the given equation of an ellipse we will find how many points we have to generate we will write them then we will find delta theta having a result 2 pi upon and 2 pi is the whole angle and n points we have to determine so we will divide that 2 pi into these many sub intervals so that will be our delta theta and now first point we will determine having a result a0 a means what the length of uh, half of what major axis if this is major one if a uh, major axis is on x axis and if it will be on y axis then length of half of the x axis we can say here then iterative formula for other points that is pi plus 1 is xi plus 1 yi plus 1 is what xi yi into this matrix remember here this is minus cos delta theta b by a sin delta theta minus a by b sin delta theta cos of delta theta and later on we have to represent it as a position vector matrix a x now let's take an example on this example generate generate eight distinct uniformly spaced uniformly spaced points on points on ellipse points on ellipse that are x square upon 4 plus y square upon 1 equal to 1. This ellipse is given to us. We have to generate how many points? 8 points are here. So now solution. Comparing with. Comparing with the standard equation of ellipse. What is that? x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 and x square by 4 plus y square by 1 equal to 1 so we will compare these two things so that gives us a square equal to 4 and b square equal to what 1 so that gives a is equal to plus minus 2 actually but it is a length so we will take it positive and b is also what 1 these are the values fine okay now how many points we have to generate number of points number of points to generate number of points to generate are 18 number right now what about delta theta delta theta delta theta is what 2 pi by n that is 2 pi upon this is our n 2 pi upon what 8 so it will be pi by 4 fine now what about first point 
the first point first point p1 is what x1 y1 you know it is a0 what is a a is 2 so it will be 2 0 our first point is what 2 comma 0 fine now let's use the iterative formula with this delta theta to determine remaining 7 points ok therefore iterative formula you know that is what pi plus 1 is what xi plus 1 yi plus 1 and that will be xi y i into the matrix cos of delta theta here b upon a times sin of delta theta here minus a by b times sin delta theta here again cos of delta theta okay so p2 is what x2 y2 that will be x1 y1 into what cos of pi by 4 here b by a means 1 by 2 times sin pi by 4 again minus 2 by 1 times sin pi by 4 here cos of pi by 4 as delta theta is what pi by 4 right so it will be this is known to you 2 0 this is what 0 0.7071 this is 0 0.3536 this is minus 0 oh, sorry minus 1 point is this 1.41 or two, okay and this is 0 0.7071 okay so taking this product we will get it is 1.4142 point p2 and 0 0.7072 now p3 now p3 what does it it will be x3 y3 that will be what x2 y2 into the same matrix we are getting right so into what we get here 0 0.7071 0 0.3536 minus 1.4142 0 0.7071 okay so put x2 y2 there and get the result so what is x2 y2 1.4142 0 0.7072 ok into what is here 0 0.7071 0 0.3536 minus 1.4142 0 0.7071 this product gives us 0 and 1.0001 okay p3 now just like a circle here also the uh, ellipse is symmetric through x and y axis and whatever the standard ellipse we have taken we you know its um, focus is on origin right so here also let's determine the remaining points using the reflection through x and y axis so let me explain it with the help of figure first so by reflection through x and y axis what we get here so let's draw the figure first
so this is x axis origin here y axis now on x axis suppose here a point p1 having coordinates what 2 0 right now the second point that is p2 you have in positive coordinates so it is it must be in what r first coordinate This may be a figure of a for ellipse because look at here this a is this is two unit distance so this is four unit distance it is what length of major axis and this is b this is one unit so this is length of minor axis so here suppose a p2 because angle is how much 45 degree we have to rotate through 45 degree angle p2 what is p2 having coordinates 1.4142 0 0.7072 right what about this p3 it is on y axis look at the for x coordinate is what 0 so it is 0 1.0001 right now here we have to determine again 45 degree further it will be p4 this is p5 then again 45 degree further p6 this is p7 and what here p8 as such the all remaining points we can easily determine okay what about this p4 p4 is a reflection of this p2 through y axis so due to that what happen x coordinate will change the sign y will remains same so here it will be minus 1.4142 0 0.7072 right now what about p5 p5 is a reflection of p1 through y-axis so this is minus 2.0 okay what about p6 p6 is a reflection of p4 through x-axis so its x coordinate will remain same y coordinate will change the sign so it is minus 1.4142 comma minus 0.7072 Again, what about P7? P7 is a reflection of P3 through x-axis. So, it is 0 minus 1.0001. What about P8? P8 is a reflection of P2 through x-axis. So, it is 1.4142 minus 0 0.7072. This is our, these are the remaining points on our ellipse now let me write this as a position vector matrix therefore our x what is x here we will write all the points here p1 p2 and so on up to what p8 i have to write till p8 right so what are they p1 is what 2 0 p2 1 point 4142 0 0.7072 p3 0 1.0001 p4 1.4142 this is 0.7072 okay then p4 so p4 is over p5 minus 2 0 p6 minus 1.4142 minus 0 0.7072 right this is 0 minus 1.0001 1 1.4142 minus 0 0.7072 this much this was our x so here a uh, standard ellipse whose focus is on origin this is an example for this one and algorithm for that now let's take for uh, such a ellipse whose focus is not on origin okay in next video okay here we will stop for this thank you